This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we are at Region 3 Headquarters. Joining us, as always, Andrea Jones from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Uh, Talking about uh, looking towards the future of the Madison River, uh, some things been going on over there over the last few years. You've done some studies, and it looks like uh, working to, towards take some action. So let's talk a little bit about what uh, what you're doing with the uh, Madison over there. Well, we know from surveys over the years and public comment, scoping, and our data that we've got people really concerned about the quality of the experience on the Madison. It is a world-class fishery as we know and people come from all over the world to enjoy it but what that's doing is creating a lot more angling pressure, a lot more crowding and things like that that people are concerned about. So uh, we developed a, or we convened a citizens advisory committee years ago in 2012 uh, and asked them for recommendations towards what they thought um, and again help more public scoping meetings and what we're doing is we're, we developed a uh, river recreation plan and where we're at now or the news of today is that next week the commission will have the chance to endorse us moving forward toward creating recreation rules and to go back to the public with a set of proposed rules or a plan for the Madison. Mm -hmm. So this is a big deal and we know that um, people will be concerned, people will be very happy for us. It's a We consider this a positive step taking uh, into account everybody's needs, all of the users. What we do have in terms of data is we know that every two years usage on the Madison is increasing by 15 percent. We've got commercial outfitting numbers, reported trips on the Madison increased 72 percent since 2008. Uh, and we know that 75 percent of the people who come to visit the Madison are from out of state. And people have told us that they're not fishing the Madison anymore. They're not going to the Madison anymore because it's too crowded. And, and we don't want that to happen. So we want to do something today so that 10 years from now we still can have a, a great Madison experience. But I guess the, the, the big part of that is there's still going to be lots of public input after that. This is nothing that's etched in stone by any means yet. No. You have an idea, but it'll still go to the public for discussion. Right. We have a framework. We have options that um, we've asked the public to, we'll, we will be asking the public to to consider. So definitely the public, if the commission says, yes, you can go ahead with this, then we'll be going to the public and saying, okay, tell us what you think about what's out there. And that uh, will be accessible to them right now to see what is in that plan in our commission cover sheet. So the commission uh, is on the 21st, uh, excuse me, uh, on the 19th, mm -hmm. and they will be uh, looking at this, and that's all public information that's on their cover sheet right now. You can can find that. Perfect. Again, Andrea Jones from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Obviously a story we're going to continue to we'll cover in future weeks. We'll, we'll be talking to the public about when and where they can comment if the commission approves it to move forward. Perfect. Andrea, thank you. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.